Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am doing another house tour. Um, this was actually supposed to be posted on like before Halloween, but I didn't end up finishing it by then. Even though I did start it like I think like a couple of weeks before, but I I like kept exiting out of the game. But yeah, um, before I start, if the room sounds a bit echoey, is because I am like currently moving. So it is kind of like bare, but yeah, um, I will probably, but yeah, I will probably be posting, um, like a room tour or something on my second channel, which is down in the description. And I highly encourage you guys to subscribe. Um, it is not some related. It's mostly like not gaming stuff, but yeah, I highly recommend you guys subscribing, but yeah, let's get into the house tour. And this house tour is for my main Sims that I'm currently playing with. Um, I did not post any of the CC I used for this just because I did use like a lot, a lot. And yeah, um, if you guys have any questions about the CC I used, just let me know and I'll try to find it for you the best I can. And sorry if this house tour is a bit messy. I know my last one was a bit messy, but yeah, let's get to it, I guess. So you first walk into these um, gates. I think these are from the vampire pack. But yeah, after walking through the gates, um, you head to the front door. Um, there is a small porch. Um, and again, there are like a lot of pumpkins and also some there. Um, there are some packages with which I really like how, how it looks like someone actually lives here. And again, like I said, um, some of these stuff is like Halloween themed, but yeah. So when you first walk in, you walk into a foyer. Um, there are, like I said, some Halloween decorations scattered about. Um, and this whole, I guess, house is like kind of fall themed. Um, it just has like a lot of oranges and greens. But yeah, I did try to keep it like more towards like an autumn slash fall theme. Um, like I said, there are like a bunch of Halloween stuff scattered about and to the right of the foyer, there is the main living room and I did use some, some kits in this pack, but yeah. So the main living room is a bit larger than the family room, I guess. Um, it is like more fancy. This is more like, this is meant more towards like when you invite people over, um, you can like play piano and have like a small show. And this TV, and, well, this painting is actually TV. Um, and yeah, I actually like how it blends into like the surrounding spaces. But yeah, I did try to keep this like if someone actually lives here. Um, just because I like when houses have that kind of feel rather than them having like nothing that resembles that someone actually lives there, but yeah. Then the kitchen, or not the kitchen, the the dining room, yeah. Um, I was originally gonna put this into a separate room, but I just ended up putting it um, a wall, or I did end up just putting a wall that separates the rooms. Just because I felt like it was a bit more cramped if it was a room by itself. And yeah, I did use these paintings a lot, which I found this. I found the CC creator and I really like their stuff. So yeah, so if you guys see a bunch of their stuff, that's why. But yeah. And again, I did try to keep it kind of realistic. And if you guys see like a bunch of stuff that doesn't really match um like the modern era that's because i did try to keep like um kind of like the 20s i guess or like to the 2000s i guess um i did try to like keep it like more i guess in the past but yeah so walking towards this hallway you do walk into the study and there are a bunch of books. I think in total, the whole bookcase is probably like 20 grand. But yeah. 
there is a typewriter and again the phone like i said that i was gonna keep it like more 2000s vibes or like more old school vibes but yeah and this house i do envision like a family of maybe like two parents and maybe like three kids two children and one newborn but yeah and probably my most favorite room in the house is the kitchen you walk into the kitchen and you see an island with two bar stools there's like a journal on the counter and some plate of cookies and a board which with some croissants and bread um and the vibe i was trying to go for this for here was maybe like someone was cooking and that's why there's a ton of food out but yeah i really love that first of all this is like my dream kitchen and my dream house so this is why this is my favorite house i have ever built but yeah i'm just like totally in love with how the kitchen looks and again some paintings here which i think i made the collage for i don't think that they came in a set like that but yeah i didn't put anything in the upper cabinets just because i felt like that would take a long time but yeah this is totally my most favorite bedroom in the house and walking into the small bathroom which every bathroom is pretty much the same it's pretty much basic but yeah it's pretty much just the bare minimum in the bathroom i did put some laundry machines but i don't believe i put any laundry baskets i might have forgot but yeah it's pretty simple but heading out into the kitchen again and into the family room so this room is for like when you just want to spend an evening here without any people it is mostly for like the teenagers i guess or the children they pretty much have like a room to chill in but yeah like i said um like some old school stuff and yeah um in my head this family is has been like here in this town for like a bunch of centuries i guess for a bunch of years this has been a house handed down like through a generation to generation and that's why um there's a bunch of paintings like this and stuff but yeah th this room is pretty simple too um but this is most for like the family to hang out in for the kids and walking back into the hallway the foyer um and heading up the stairs and if you guys notice um like towards the second floor um oh there's like a what up i'm like i'm like all over the place but yeah heading up into the the second floor i did put some plants here and if you guys can see the second floor is like less furnished that's because like halfway through me building it I kind of like lost some motivation and yeah there's like i guess like the bare minimum again yeah it's pretty basic i did add some paintings and yeah walking into where should i walk into first i guess i'll start with this room since it's the closest to where you um go to um this room is just like storage room um again i did use some kits here and yeah it's pretty basic i actually really like how, how it turned out it does kind of like look realistic and i really like it but yeah it's pretty much just a storage room and there are stairs to the third floor but the third floor does ha not have anything in it so yeah so walking back out you head into the I believe this is the yeah the nursery for the nursery I did like keep it minimum just because I don't really play with newborns so I don't really know what they're supposed to have um but I did put the bare minimum like um the playpen and the changing table and some toys scattered about 
Um, I didn't really furnish this room just because new newborns don't really last that long. Um, so yeah, so this is this can easily be changed into a children's a children's bedroom or a toddler's bedroom when they grow up. And the newborn actually does have a bathroom, which is pretty small and basic. Um, it has this mirror, which I did use in my last house tour a lot. And just some paintings and a bathtub and a toilet. And you can see to the outside and I am in Brindleton Bay. So yeah. Um, and heading back out and back into the hallway you head into the children's bedroom and this is the girls bedroom um in my head there's two twins that stay here and yeah i did also keep the like kind of like not too personalized just because when i'm playing in my personal save file i like to furnish my rooms based on the personality of them but since there's currently no sims living here i don't really know what their personality is yet so i do try to keep it to a bare minimum where i can just like exchange some stuff and like just change it up as i go so, so that's why pretty much the rooms are like not that furnished and stuff but yeah it's pretty simple um it just have like a, a dollhouse and a basic desk just so they can do their schoolwork and a little lamp which i also like and they also have a window looking out towards the backyard but yeah it's pretty simple so let's head to the well first let's head to the bathroom they do also have like not a connecting bathroom but like a bathroom that's pretty much just for them but yeah it's pretty basic again and it's pretty small so yeah so let's head to the master's bathroom or the master's bedroom um and yeah the, in the master's bedroom it is pretty big um i really like how it turned out and there's also a tv in here they can pretty much just like relax in here um and yeah this room is pretty simple and yeah there's like not too much special about the bedrooms yeah i do really like it um this is like pretty much how i want my in real life room to be but yeah it, it is pretty basic but yeah let's head to their bathroom and they have the biggest bathroom in the house they have a bathtub and a shower and they also have a it's not really a balcony it's pretty much just like a window with the and you can it's pretty much just a window and you can see to the outside but yeah it's pretty basic their bathroom um but yeah i really like how it turned out and that's pretty much it for the house tour but yeah before i go i will show the backyard in the backyard it's also pretty much simple i will tap out just because it's not too big but yeah um heading to the backyard you can pretty much just see like a little pond and a gazebo which there's not a table in it and it's not really well lit but yeah um i don't really build backyards well first of all i'm not even really a builder but yeah so just looking at the exterior um yeah so yeah just looking at the exterior i really like how it turned out um, there are like a lot of vines growing around it and yeah um out of all the houses I have built this is probably my most favorite um I think I got this house off of Pinterest um I do not remember which picture so I have like no in real life picture to compare it to just because I did um get I did start building this house like a long time ago so I don't really remember where I put the stuff but yeah this house is not that big, to be honest. It does cost, well, first let me see how it costs. It costs about 200 grand, almost 300, 300 grand. But yeah, it's not that big, to be honest. And this house is going to be for my main safe file family. They are currently expecting a baby. 
So yeah, so I do want to get ahead of it and just start building your house. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for me today, guys. Um, this is my birthday special, and like going forward, I do want to like do more of them. I I know that I have been pretty inactive on this YouTube channel, um, and also my other one, but that's pretty much how it goes to be honest um i don't really like posting when i'm not inspired or when i have like pretty much nothing to be posting about i don't really like posting let's plays just because i always leave them before i really get into them so that's the main reason i don't really post let's plays and like i said i'm not really a boater um out of all the houses i have ever built on the sims this is probably like my most successful one um but yeah that's it for me today um if you guys like this video subscribe if you don't well don't um and if you guys see something that you guys want any of you guys see like a piece of custom content um that's in the house just let me know um just put the timestamp for it in the comments and i'll try to find it if i if I know what it is, and if I don't, I'm sorry, but yeah. Like I said, I didn't post like a speed, well, f first of all, I didn't post a sp speed build because like each part was like two, two to three hours long. And I like kept exiting out of the game and like coming back just because I like kind of like got bored of building and then came back. So that's pretty much why I stopped like recording me building it, but yeah. And also, like, I do want to build, like, a speedboat, so keep that in mind. I will probably be posting that either before the new expansion pack comes out or after. Just because I am, like, a slow builder. Um, like, just look at this house. That took me, like, pretty much four weeks to build. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me today. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.